Say, engine, if this keeps up, there ain't gonna be any wild horses on the range. See any flying ace stock, Shorty? Nary one. I guess they're just a bunch of wild bang tails. Don't see a brand on any of them. How about you, Slim? Well, I looked all around, Ken, but I couldn't find a single horse that looked like he belonged on the Sweetwater. Too bad. Well, I'll likely look the saddle stock mixed up in that bunch. Yeah, doggone it. If we could find just one, a bone bunch in there, we could stop this shipment. Mr. Benson, my boss would like to see you before you leave town. I ain't got anything to see Mr. Frazier for. You can tell him from me that he'll never get a horse from the Flying Air or the Sweetwater Valley either. You hear that? Well, uh, all right. <laughs> I'll tell him. Hey! Come on, boy, let's get out of here. Come on, Slim, let's go. Come on, Chief. Say, hey, you hide hunters are making more money than us ranchers. <laughs> they are, Butch. Frazier, this is the easiest money I ever made. As soon as I collect the bounty on those hides I got, I'll be raring to go again. Well, how about it? Did you see Benson? Yeah, I saw him. Then? He ain't powwowing with you. Oh, he's a fool. Well, do you know I got a state permit to kill off all the wild horses? Yeah, I know he does. But if they're on his property and he's paying taxes, you're out of luck as far as the state's concerned. You let us use your permit, I'll bring out all the unbranded hides on the Sweetwater. All those I bring out alive are yours. The hides of the others belong to us. That's fair enough, ain't it? Well, I don't see how that's going to help our big purpose. I do. Keep Benson so worried about the wild horses, he won't have a chance to watch his own range. But you do get an idea now and then, don't you? Big idea. What time is it? I got to get a hundred hours out of this valley before evening. How about it, Cook? Is Chuck ready? Well, Butch, here's where I get the first hide of the day. Well, get him. Careful, Butch. That's Ken Benson. Who's ramrod in this outfit? I guess I am, if it's any of your business. You hombres are camped on Flying A property. I want you to get moving and get moving fast. You can't get us off of this range, Benson. We got a state permit to get horse hides, and we're going to get them. That might apply to the state ranges. But this ranch is 40 miles square. Every horse on it belongs to Fly and A, whether he's branded or not. I'll get going. Come on. Any man that'll kill a horse for his hide is lower than a snake. I just love to kill snakes. Get that gun! Come on! Go! 
Good. Now, you birds. They got just five minutes to get going before I start throwing lead. Well, how about it, Butch? Well, I guess we'll have to. Well, come on. Right to your hawks. I'll remember you, hombre. All right. Hurry it up a little. Come on. Benson, if you ain't within your legal rights, I'll be back. And I'll take every loose hide I find and make you like it. When you do come, Butch, you better come shoot. Because I intend to drill every one of you honorary hide hunters that sets foot on this property. You get that? Come on, fellas. Let's go. Check. Check. Come on, Tarzan! Come on! with you. Not afraid of me, are you? Well, here, boys. Say, listen, have you forgotten me? Huh? Have you forgotten me? Oh, you're not quite sure, are you? Huh? Say, listen, here. These old hide hunters getting your goat? Huh? They're getting your goat? Well, we're going to fix it. This has been a most tiresome journey. I wish we were back in dear old Boston. I wish you was, too. Of all the rough, uncouth people one could imagine, to say nothing of this terrible country. Oh, can the chatter, Andy. We're here, and we're going to make the best of it. Pat Riley, have I not admonished you severely about using slang? Yes, dear. But isn't it bad form to use a nickname? Oh, now, dear, don't cry. Get your eyes all red. Who knows? Maybe you'll meet the man of your dreams at this ranch. Perish the thought. Why, all the natives I've seen carry weapons. Oh, sure they do. For appearance's sake. <gasps> oh, can't we put this thing down and... Keep out some of the dust. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Why don't you try it? I wonder if he's cutting the driver's throat. Shake with me, Shorty. But this Pat Riley ain't what you think she is. So 
Who's that? Pat Riley. What in the world is the matter with you? I don't like that fellow's looks. All right, now, boys. When we make that turn, we'll take out after him. You all loaded up? Oh, yeah. Already? Yeah. Don't you know that nowadays bandits are only found in books? I'm not so sure. shirt. Come on, hurry it up. Did uh, someone mention my name? You better be thinking up some prayers, Shorty, because you're sure going to need them. How come? Well, if I know this gang, they're sure going to be peeved because you didn't tip them all. Gee, I'm, I'm sorry, miss. You see, hey, we thought that is... Oh, I you. see. You little boys were just playing a, a game. Oh, gee. Look here, Pat. You, right. I mean... How dare you be so familiar? I'll have you know that only my intimate friends call me by that name. You cow person. Come on, Dave. It seems we've arrived at my ranch. Come on, boys. Get the grips off of there. Get a move on you. See here, you. From now on, I'll give orders around here. Yes, Boys, would you kindly take my grips into the house, please? Yes, sure. sir. Right on, right Shorty. Take Family my grips. Four or five of them. Yes, ma'am. Sure, Ed. Well, right this way, please. Right up through the patio, please. Hey, what are you doing up there? Say, boys, I wonder if that little runt knew that Pat Riley was a female. How about that, pothound? Yeah, yeah, I did, but you see, I thought it'd be a joke. Oh, you did, eh? You ain't had a bath in six months. Come off of there now and take your yeah, baptism. Snake him out of here. <laughs> Where do you want me to put this, Ken? Here, Slim. Can you handle that one? Now, put them up in the ladies' boudoir, please. A bo bo boudoir? Oh, yeah, up where they sleep. Agnes. Oh, oh. <laughs> you make it, Slim? That's it, right straight on up the stairs. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Is there anything else I could do for you, miss? Yes. Send my foreman immediately. Well? Well, I might have expected it. Very well. Have the personnel ready for my inspection tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. I intend to make some changes. All right, Miss Riley. Only I wouldn't figure on firing any of the boys. Just because you can't take a joke. The one definite change I have in mind right now concerns only yourself. All right. I'll have the boys ready at 9 o'clock in the morning. Bye.
Wake up, dear. Wake up. Your breakfast is here. Oh, that sounds good. At least it's a beautiful morning. Well, there's one thing good about this country. Sleep. Sleep? I hardly closed my eyes. It seemed all the beasts in the wilderness were howling in agony. Why, Auntie, those were just the cowboys singing. I thought it was rather pretty. Patricia Riley. Well, I did. At least it was different. Oh. The tide. Hey, my dog. Oh, Eleven right. o'clock. That's good. Time. All things come to him who waits, I guess. Yeah, you're right. I don't know if he waits long enough, they might. Uh oh. Tension. Tension. Morning, Miss. There you are, miss. Finest lot of cowboys that ever forked a bronc. They don't look like I imagined, but uh, they'll do for the time being. <laughs> By the way, who was responsible for that singing last night? <coughs> Well, it really doesn't matter. I just wanted you to know that I enjoyed it. Well, you see, miss, Cam, he does all the singing. We just sort of join in with him once in a while. Oh, I see. What is your name? <laughs> Shorty. Shorty. Well, Shorty, I think I'll appoint you foreman temporarily. You see, I'm discharging Mr. Benson. And if you'll come in the house, I'll pay you off now. Ken, she's on the pack, ain't she? Everything satisfactory, dear? Oh, I, I guess you'll be all right. Is there any business you'd like to talk over before you leave? Well, your uncle's attorney is here to read the will. I'll just have to stick around till that's over. Very well. Show him in. Mr. Hall, come on in. Miss Riley, Mr. Hall. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, and uh, Miss Stern. How do you do? How do you do? I'm glad to find you two getting along so nicely together. I just didn't know how Ken would feel when he found out that Pat Riley was a girl. Did you know that? <laughs> sure, but Riley wouldn't let me tell you. It seems he wanted you two to get together. Fact is, he hoped you might get married. Well, I like that. <coughs> well, folks, I, uh, I guess we might as well get this over with. Let me take your hat off. Oh, thank you. Uh, sit right down over there, Mr. Hall. Thank you. With your approval, I'll skip the legal formalities and get to the terms of the document. Very well. Paragraph one. <clears throat> to my only known living relative, Patricia Riley, I leave my entire estate, both real and personal. Paragraph two. I hereby appoint Ken Benson as administrator for said estate 
to serve without bond until such time as he is convinced my heir, Patricia Riley, is capable of handling said estate. Does that mean that Mr. Benson is to remain on the ranch? I would say that it does. Paragraph three. Until such a time as he sees fit, Ken Benson is to have full charge of said estate and act as legal guardian for my heir at a salary of $300 per month. Hello, Frazier. Hi, Butch. Sit down, fellas. Get your whistle wet. Hey, how about some glasses here? Coming right up. Get him on the run, will you? <laughs> what happened to you? This Humphrey Benson cropped my ear and drove us off his range. <laughs> Funny, ain't it? But he'll pay for it. Yes, I guess he will. As a matter of fact, Butch, there's over a hundred head of flying A stock down the shipping pens waiting for the train right now. Hey, Al, let's ride down the station and see what's holding up that train crew. That might not be a bad idea, Slim. We can stop at the corner anyway, eh? That's the first sensible thing I ever heard you say. Come on. Yeah. Hey, look, Al. We're in for a good ball and out. Well, that won't be anything, ladies. What are you two doing here? All that cuss has followed him to cars and let that herd get away. He must have got the gate open with his teeth. Well, when did you shoot him? We did shoot at him. Oh, he's out of range. We couldn't hit him. Well, let's go and round him up. Wait a minute. That's the best thing that could have happened. We'll have our friends declare Tarzan an outlaw, a menace to the range. Have him shot. Not a bad idea. Good. Where's the sheriff? Let's put it up to him. Oh, sheriff. Got a little job for you. Wonder what he wants. Never can tell. A little excitement, I guess. Well, what's all around? Sheriff, I've been robbed of over a hundred head of horses. Any idea who got them? Positive knowledge. That outlaw Stanley Tarzan let him out of the pen. Hmm, that's funny. Well, my boys saw him. They tried to shoot him. Is that right, boys? That's right. Say, I'll bet that's where my stock's been going. I've lost over 50 head of good broodmares lately. I've been losing stock too, Sheriff. If that statue's a thief, he ought to be shot. That's thinking fast, Bob. Hmm, well, if that's the case, he'd ought to be shot. A thief in Stalin is more dangerous than a half a dozen rustlers. Let's round him up tomorrow, Sheriff. Yeah, I'll go with I'll you. go with you. So will I. I'm ready. Does that suit you, Fraser? Well, I'm afraid I can't go with you tomorrow, Sheriff. I'm expecting a big herd to arrive. Well, that's all right, Fraser. We'll have Tarzan's hide drying before sundown. Come on, boys. I'm going to buy a drink. Uh, we've got ours, thanks. How come you can't go along tomorrow? Because we're going to raid the Sweetwater. Say, ain't you biting off a little too much? Benson and his men will be too busy with the sheriff to have any lookout posted. Love in the Golden West. 
Kalkmadı. Lady, I sure thank you for throwing me that rope. Cold water cramped my leg. You're all right now, aren't you? I'm afraid I can't get away. I'm liable to be here any minute. Who is it you're afraid of? Benson of the Flying A. He's out to kill me. Oh, I don't think you need be afraid of him. You see, I own the Flying A. You? Yes. Come out from behind the lady's skirts, Fraser, and we'll shoot it out. There's no glory in gunfighting, Benson. And gun glory is the language of the West. For coyotes like you are concerned. Is it the custom of West to forget the presence of ladies? What is all this trouble about? Why, we just found that hombre and his men rustling flying a stock. Well, lady, I hadn't the slightest idea we were on your property. Well, that's no reason why you should want to shoot each other. No. I just saw that skunk deliberately shoot Moon Tarzan. And everybody in this country knows I'd put a bullet through anybody that harms him. Is this particular horse your private property? Well, no, ma'am, he's not. You see, I caught the horse when he was a colt and broke him. And then I turned him loose again because I couldn't stand to think of anything so beautiful and proud being broken to the well of man. Maybe I'll gladly buy this horse. I'll give you a hundred dollars for him. This Tarzan's an outlaw stallion, and any rancher would be glad to shoot on sight. That's a lie. Why, there's not a rancher around the country that hasn't offered to buy many times. Well, I'm, I'm afraid I'll have to refuse your offer. You see, Mr. Benson is my guardian, and I wouldn't want to do anything that might hurt him. Thanks, Pat. I advise you to take to the river rather than meet those boys of mine. Wait a minute, Hank. Hold it, boys. Put up your guns. I let him get away. Let him I... get away? Why, well, can? That wall-eyed hide hunter's been rustling stock. I know. He shot Tarzan, too. Don't you think you could find Tarzan and help him? That's just exactly what I intend to do. You ride home with the boys. Well, all right. 
You better let us go with you. That stallion might be hurt pretty bad. I think I can handle him better alone, Jim. Let's get him out, boys. All right. Uh, if you do find Tarzan, I wish you'd bring him to the ranch. I'd like to see him, Ken. Hey, did you call me Ken? I guess we give him the slip that time, didn't we? Look, there's Benson. Fool! That shot may have been heard by his men. We might just as well get off the range if we don't get rid of him. Look, he's getting away! No, he won't. We'll let the river take care of him. Sure got a hard head. Broke the handle of a smoke wagon. Wrap him up <laughs> good, bud. He might come to when he hits that cold water. Well, it'll be a lot of rats, Chief, when I get through. Yeah, that was a good catch. Bring him along. Fine, eh? No, I reckon not. Well, ride over there and try and get a job. Stick around anyway until you can get word to our friends about this roundup. Well, why don't you... Well, nothing. Get going. Oh, all right. Come on, Butch. Chief, if you work it out that way, we'll certainly make a clean-up on this deal. Get word to it as quick as you can now. All right. All right. You fellas all understand what you got to do? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on over this way, Bucky. I'm a right good hand, miss. I work for most all the big outfits around here. Well, my foreman, who does all the hiring, must have met with an accident. His horse came home riderless. The cook will give you some dinner if you care to wait. Thank you kindly, ma'am. I could take on a little nourishment. Well, you just go down there at the cookhouse and you tell him I sent you. Thank you, ma'am. I bet he's a regular cowboy. I don't like his looks. Well, dear. 
I think our dinner is ready. Oh, Auntie, haven't I told you before? I don't want any dinner. I'm not hungry. I'm beginning to think that you're in love. Perhaps I am. They'll pay for that, Tarzan. And pay plenty. Think you can carry me to the ranch? Huh? Tarzan? Huh? Think you could? All right, we'll see. Him. Told you I would, didn't I? Oh, boy. Who? Oh, did, did Mr. Frazier do that? Yes, but it's not half as bad as it looks. It'll heal up in a few days. Oh, Father, I see how deep. But, Ken, what's happened to you? Where's your hat? Oh, you look like you've been in the river. I'll tell you all about it in a little while. I want to take care of Tarzan first. I'll get some warm water and a sponge and sponge that out. That's not very deep there. Hurt, old man? Huh? That hurt? Boy's getting back, I guess. Oh, father. Oh. No, it doesn't yeah. look like them. What's the sheriff? Wonder what he wants. Howdy, Benson. Howdy, Sheriff. It's Riley. Well, I'm glad you see got Terrison waiting for us. We've been looking for him all morning. What do you mean? Well, speaking plumb plain, we're wanting his hide. A thieving stallion deserves no more consideration than a stock-killing dog. Just who is it that accuses Tarzan of stealing stock? Well, some of your best friends. That's right, Ken. I've lost over a hundred good brood mares in the last 30 days. I'm in the same fix. That goes for me, too. Well, all the ranchers have been missing plenty of saddle stock lately. And we know that this stallion stole a whole herd of horses out of the shipping pens right in town. We expect you to recognize the law of the range, Benson. Tarzan's an outlaw, and we're going to shoot him. I hate to do it, Ken. But I hated to shoot a dog one time. They said it was mad. Come up, boys. Drop your belts. If they shouldn't have been done, I'll do it. I reckon you know what you're doing, Benson. I'm going to have to come after you for this. Hurry it up, Sheriff. Go get on your horses, boys. Go on. Better think it's over, Benson. The horse ain't worth it. Pat, I guess my guardianship days are over. Goodbye. Oh, oh Ken, you mustn't go. Oh, you can't leave me in a mess like this. Come on, boys. Well, what are you going to do now, Sheriff? We're going to get him. We got a lot of daylight left. Well, Sorry, I've got to do this, Miss. But the law is the law. Won't be too easy for him next time. What did I tell you, Sheriff? He took the law in his own hand, boys. Yes, sir. We'll, we'll get him. Hey, don't cry, Pat. That ain't Western. What are you crying for? Well, the idea you're going away and leaving me. I guess I have some right. You'll be my guardian until... until... Sure I will, honey. What'd you do with Tarzan? 
turn him loose. Loose? Sure, they never will catch him now. <laughs> Don't move, Benson. You're covered. <laughs> Thought you were smart stepping off that horse and sneaking back, eh? Stand up. Give me that gun. We haven't done anything. No. Resisted an officer is all. Put out your hand. All right, Sheriff. Well, if the boys were here, you wouldn't take him. Now, listen, honey. You tell the boys to stay out of this. It's Fraser's work. I'll handle that hombre. All right, Ken. Well, do we saddle up, or will your horse carry a double, Sheriff? We'll saddle up, but you watch your step. Come on. Don't worry, honey. How about it? You see our friends? Yeah, they're gonna meet us at Red Rock Canyon with about 150 heads. All right, boys. Get them started over there. Who, oh, Chico? Who? Oh. All right, Sheriff, come on, let's go. Wait a minute. We'll just cut over the hill. I ain't taking any chance of running into your boys. I sure will. How long have they been gone? Just a few minutes. And I heard the sheriff say they were going over the hills because they didn't want to meet you boys. Well, 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 he's he's gonna gonna be right. Oh, Pat, right. darling, you don't want to Oh, I never mind, Annie. I'm going. Hurry up, Jim. Don't worry, honey. I'll be all right. Wait a minute, Sheriff. Look. Hmm. Looks like Fraser's rounding up a powerful bunch of hides. Hides nothing. Take these cuffs off, Sheriff, and debitize me. I'll prove to you that Fraser, not Tarzan, is responsible for the ranchers losing their stock. That's a bargain, Benson. And if we find out the Fraser's been a-stringing me, we'll just forget about that charge against you. why you want a Tarzan killed. Say, listen, Sheriff. We've been friends for a mighty long time. Let me go. I'll turn state's evidence. Where'd these wild horses come from? Come on, speak and speak quick. Well, they're not wild horses. They're saddle stock. Fraser said if we could get them to town, we'd get a good price for them. Hey, look at that. Sheriff. Wrap him up with the rope. I'm going after Fraser. Ken, we've rode together too many years. You know I wouldn't pull it in stuff like that. Stab him, Bert! Get you bad, Sheriff. How bad did he get you? Just creased a little bit, Ken. I'll be all right in a little while. Go get him. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. 
Yeah. What are we going to do now? Listen, a couple of us can hide over by that bank, and when it comes through the rocks, nail him. All right. You and Jack get over there and take him. Any minute now. Just leave him to me, Black Jack. Stop that spike. Beat it. Stop that curve. Oh. Hey, Benson's after me. What? Everybody for the dogs now. Sheriff, where's Ken? He's taking my place. He's after the horse thieves. You better stay here, Miss Pat, because we'll be cleaning plenty of lead in a minute. Come on, boys.
Pat. Something Western. Oh, Ken, you are all right. Sure, I'm all right. Just nicked me a little, Zoll. Sure knocked me out. For a minute. Look out! Here comes Tarzan. Tarzan won't hurt you. Don't be afraid. That's all right, Tarzan. That's all right. Now listen, partner. I know I said a lot of hard things about you. But let's you and I be friends, huh? What do you say? <laughs> you know, I don't blame you for loving Tarzan. I do myself. What about me? Well, uh... <laughs> uh... Well, you haven't answered me yet. Have you? Say, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> 